I am on top of Ben Donner. And uh, I thought I'd just jump on a live session. So I'm just going to wait and see if anybody jumps on. Hopefully the internet will hold us I'm up here. <coughs> Doggy. It's loading. My phone is loading. This feels really random. I'm just like sat here. <laughs> so, folks, I am here on top of Ben Donich. Um, you can see the trigger point. Oh, there, behind me. Ta -da! And um, I'll show you the view in a second. But I just, I just wanted to jump on a live stream because why not? You know, it's just the power of the modern world and the internet. Um, it's really exciting to be up here. Uh, this is my last little climb here in Scotland. Trip that has not quite gone to plan. Um, but, you know, it's uh, made me feel really fulfilled, full of, full of happiness, full of joy. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just amazing how things can turn around if you really put your heart into them. So I came up here initially to do a long distance trail. And many of you guys I know saw my story on Friday. Um, I ended up just being like crippled with pain. My lower back sort of seized up. Um, I don't know if there's any connection to my actual long term injury or not, but basically it uh it did not fill me with happiness um it was pretty challenging but yeah basically uh friday sort of just rested up and then um since then i've just been trying to like ease back into it and get myself up and moving and uh it's just been really cool because the more i've got out into the mountains each day the more i've more I've just sort of felt more desire to 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 push myself more sort of connection with the natural world i haven't um I haven't felt that for a bit. I think, you know, COVID and lockdown has, has impacted me just as much as everybody else. And it's, it's interesting because I felt like as we were going through the depth of everything, um, I sort of just carried on, like I got by, I handled it okay. But then sort of as we've been released, sounds like a prison sentence because that's how it felt. Um, you know, it, it started to really filter in and it's almost like I burnt out and I reached my limits. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to just pick up the pieces from that, I think. So, yeah, just very, very happy to be out here. So what I'm going to do is just show you the view. Get myself off the ground. Oh, sorry, you're on earphones. So I don't know if, um, if it's a bit rattly. <laughs> spin, spin. So here's the summit. Ah! Oh, it's nice and wide angle, isn't it? Da -da -da. Looking out across the locks. Truly, truly spectacular up here. Really cool little climb as well. As I say, I'm heading heading down from Scotland this afternoon. Not that I'm in any rush. I've only got I've got a four hour drive, which is a bit sad. Um, just zooming round, zoomy zoom. Uh, I just want to show you in a second as well. Da -da -da -da. There, that's um, the cobbler. So there's an unusual view of the cobbler. Hey, all the way around, all the way around, and here's the summit of Ben Dornick. Really, really cool. These two lasses came up behind me. Um, yeah, so I just, I just wanted to jump on a live, you know, because it's, 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 I just feel like this is such a sort of physical manifestation or a physical metaphor of what, what can lie within us, you know. Um, I, I, got, I cried when I got to the top. Let's just confession time. Um, just my heart just kind of exploded. Um, I think, you know, I felt very crushed and very dark inside um, over the last few weeks and months. And yes, if there's, there's been all the highs and, you know, when you're focusing on joy, you know, naturally it's partnered with gratitude and I'm somebody who rests in gratitude a huge amount. But uh, sometimes it just doesn't feel like quite enough. Um, it, it, it doesn't quite lift me, you know, and since Anna's gone and it's just been like me and Robert and Schnuckfell and I mean, these are all good things. Um, you know, it's, it's still been really tough. Uh, and I think, you know, I just had to strip back the pressure. I've had to sort of open up to um, new ways of looking after myself. I've not done Scotland like this before. Normally it's like, I'm gonna bomb about, push myself physically, you know, do this, do that, dun, dun, dun. Um, it's intense. And uh, this trip has not been intense. It's felt intense on its own level. Um, oh, my arm is falling off. But uh, <laughs> it's, um, it's been really rewarding, you know, to just actually let go of 
some of the pressure that I put on myself and to be able to say, actually, you know what, I'm just going to do a little walk. I'm just going to come up Ben Donick or Ben Ann. And obviously I've been in a huge amount of pain and I've had to actually take into the consideration, um, you know, my physical capabilities. But the truth is I'm stubborn enough to go, well, that hurts, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then just end up in, in a bit of trouble. Um, but that hasn't happened because the people in my life are encouraging me to be good to myself. And as frustrating as it can be, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> So here we are um, on top of the mountain. I feel like I'm really waffling. I'm like not quite connected to my thoughts today. It's, I'm, just, I'm just feeling happy. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling free, um, which is a very, very good thing. Um, yeah, someone's asking how is my back and leg realistic. Realistically, like they're still attached. I mean, like, hello. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my waterproof socks. Sorry. Um, digression is the right word. But they're, they're quite, my feet are wet. Um, but you know, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, they're not great, but I'm just working with it and, uh, yeah, celebrating the fact that I can move and, you know, I'd rather be able to come up a, a little a peak and just, you know, call that what I can do at the moment. than just be like, I can't do anything. <laughs> um, there's, there's always things that we can do. There's always ways of, around things, you know, and, um, yeah, I just feel like I'm on a pretty, pretty epic journey right now. Like, it's funny because I'm not really on, you know, I'm not on the trail, but I feel like I'm learning things that the trail teaches me. And it's funny, you know, when I, when I feel like I'm learning something that's, um, uh, like a very powerful lesson, it feels like it starts here and it sort of then works its way up into my mind. So it, it, it starts in my body and then gradually, gradually, as time passes by, as I sort of sit with the feeling, the words come to what it is um, that I'm experiencing. I find the language and then I can really own it. And then it sort of just sticks. And then it's something that, that becomes so intertwined in my DNA and sort of who I am. Um, so yeah, it's, it's cool. You know, Scotland is, Scotland is cool. Um, it's, yeah, and it's funny I even say that because honestly I got here and I'm like, why am I here? I just, I, I feel very vulnerable. Um, also, how tempting is it to go and stand on that? That. Should we go stand on it? Should we see how far we can get? Also, if I fall, that would be really sad. Live death of Abby Barnes. Oh, geez, maybe the optimism is not quite complete. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, actually, that's quite a big slab of rock. Hang on, how do I turn this around? Hmm, it's a bit too jagged. Oh, what about that? Can we go stand over there? That looks fun. Come on, people. Let's Let's go for an adventure. I'm gonna jump. Three, two, one. <sighs> Sorry if this is like really sickeningly wobbly. Also, I'm just presuming I'm not gonna get mugged by my stuff. Oh, look at this spot, man. This is really exciting. Oh, well, you can tell I'm excited when my voice goes high. <laughs> Sorry it's so wobbly. Here we go. I'm gonna stand on the outcrop. Turn around every now and then. And I get a little bit cheese. Tell Anna's had an influence on my life, can't you? Here we go. Oh, please be solid. One foot at a time. Wow, I actually care about things now. Good. Wow, look at this. How cool is this? <laughs> oh, man. Life is good. So, yeah, now I'm just still on the outcrop. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I can't even tell you, like, it's amazing to be able to take a, take a proper full deep breath. Yeah, I've learned so much. I've even learned how to breathe into my tummy, you know? When I was, um, I had the therapy on the Friday, went randomly. Like, all the amazing things have happened on this trip. It's actually kind of crazy. Just, like, needing some, some support on my back. I was like, why have I just walked off of there? <laughs> I probably should pay attention to what I'm doing, because it's quite a long way down. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then, you know, the everywhere's like, like no, sorry, we're full. It's, you know, Scotland's only just opened up, really. And then um, finding that the lady I was staying with, she does this kinetic chain therapy stuff. It's freaking painful. But um, really, really cool to be able to try that. And then, you know, just lying there, she really just we, walked me through. And we through, like, how to breathe, like, tummy first. Is that the right? I can't remember what it's called right now. I feel like a freaking satsuma. Um... <laughs> Uh, you know, rather than into my chest, which is where I breathe all the time. And I've, I find it really, really hard to breathe deeper. Um, but he sort of showed me. And so since then, I've been, uh, just before I go to sleep, doing five deep breaths. 
And I quite like that. It's kind of fun. Um, it just feels like a little act of self-care. And I, you know, I, I, the truth is coming into this time in Scotland and beyond, um, I, I've never done this before. I've never tried to sort of look after myself by myself in a healthy way. I know that I want to, um, but you know, the altered sense of reality that I get, the voices in my head, like everything tempts me and pushes me and stupid mental health. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's that that's seeing me grow and evolve and be forged. You know, it does feel like a baptism of fire sometimes. It's pretty tough. But uh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's faith. I don't know whether it's hope. I don't know. I don't know what, but for some reason, it just keeps on keeping on. And uh, this is a reward. So yeah, can I do this doggy? This doggy's cool. It's much more interesting than me. But uh, hey, buddy. These guys are having a picnic. A bit jealous. As you can see, I had a banana. Also, this rucksack is doing quite well. Um, I really am waffling. So I should probably sign off now. I don't really know what I'm saying. I feel like I have very philosophical speech inside of me, but nothing is coming out because I just, I just feel really joyful. I feel really happy. Um, and I am a little bit aware of the time because I have to go um, get back down to the car. I've got another film I need to shoot um, on the way down. Maybe stop at a kilt shop because uh, I think... Uh, Anna wants me to see if I can get a kilt. What do you guys think? Should I wear a kilt? Just get, I don't want just the kilt though, I want the whole look, you know. It's a good look. I just throw myself into a kilt and <laughs> Ian's like, yes! Come on, people! Well, all right, thumbs up if you want me to get a kilt. <laughs> no pressure. You have until I get back down the mountain. <laughs> um, I don't know where to get a kilt. Well, I do actually, that's a lie. Um, oh, jeez, I'm getting a kilt, aren't I? <sighs> Do it. All the kilts. Everyone's kilt. I'm happy about this. See? This this had a purpose. Bye! <laughs> uh, um, cool. We have affirmation for the kilt. That's good. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going up to the top now. I didn't want to invade these people's space, but now it's mine. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a kilt. Happy days. So, yeah, I like the shirts and stuff as well. And then a... Um, uh, actually, long, my family is Maki, um, that's our Scottish, Scottish background. <laughs> I, um, no, I thought um, the, the whole thing, I want the little knife, this is how Scottish I am, little knife hold thing, get the socks, get the belt, you can get some good belts. Uh, the shirts are super cool, so uh, that's that. <laughs> if we've got time, I'll do that. Um, and then, yeah, potentially going to head down to, um, thank you. The Sporan. Is that how you say it? Hi. I've been working on my accent. It's not that good though. Never mind. I'm just embarrassing all my Scottish friends. Apologies about that. Ooh, wobbly rock. Um, yeah, right. Enough waffle. I'm going to go eat a waffle. There's a waffle in the car. That's my excitement for the day. Um, thank you for watching this, guys. It's just nice to hang out, you know. I think anyone who's been on any of my live sessions know that usually I just I just warble on. Um, but, I, you know, like with that uh, little story I did on Instagram on Friday where I was really struggling. Um, you know, I want to use this platform for the highs and the lows, not just the highs. Um, I think it's always very easy and very tempting to be like, yay, look at me, I'm on top of the mountain, woohoo! You know, rather than telling the full story of how it takes to get there, you know, the, the roller coaster of emotions, of, of challenges, whether it's the same day or a different day, like, Life is made up of all of these things. We are made up of all of these things. It's okay to, you know, just feel flat sometimes. It's okay to feel tired. It's okay to not feel motivated. It's okay to, to, to just be, you know, and this is what I'm learning um, through this trip more and more, or just through life more and more. You don't have to climb the highest mountains to get the best view, you know? Who's saying that? Who said that? I don't know, but I just did. Um, <laughs> it's, you know... And, and it's about adventure. Adventure is an attitude. And I just did a piece of camera talking about how, you know, for me, being in the mountains is like a physical representation, as I say, of what lies within us, that human potential, the possibility, the adventure. Um, did I, or did I just say that to you? I don't even remember. But um, it's, it's just powerful. It's just powerful. I feel like this is powerful. And there's so much to look at from the geology to the geography to the forests and 
watching out for golden eagles, obviously, um, to the clouds and the sky. And you feel like you can just touch heaven. I'm in heaven. <laughs> like if heaven is anything like this, then frick, I'm excited. Um, we're just so blessed. We're so, so blessed. We're so blessed to have our bodies that can move and carry us to an endless endless array of places you know we're so blessed to live on planet earth which is just insanely beautiful if only we open our eyes you know we're so blessed to have community and connection to have each other to have these online spaces i mean look at this i am kind of in the middle of nowhere and i can talk to you guys wherever you are in the world you know just life is amazing and i think one of the hardest things i find is when it doesn't feel amazing because i know that it's amazing <laughs> um and i like that is who i am and coming to the mountains, usually by myself, is how I am reminded of who I am. You know, a couple of days ago, um, I finally felt that sense of grounding that I, I haven't had in so long. And it, I don't, I, it was pouring down. And I was just walking in the rain. I was loving life. And uh, I just felt very harmonious in who I am. And it's a very special thing, you know. Um, yeah, there's a there's good things happening, you know. Anyway, I'm 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 struggling to follow my train of thought. So how are you guys getting on? Uh, yeah, this is Ben Donner for those of you guys who are interested. I know that many people have tuned in. Um, oh, good. I'm trying to work out which lock I'm looking down over now. It's massive, or is it the C? Hmm. I don't know. I'll show you the view one more time then, because it can definitely speak better than I can. Maybe I shouldn't put the music. There we go. All the way around one more time. Good stuff. I'm not littering. I just put my pack down. There's definitely some clouds coming in. I love that I'm just like alone here now. Alone again. Naturally. <laughs> oh, jeez. It just feels so good to feel good, you know. I can't even tell you. Do you think I can? get up here you think i'm capable i'm gonna i'm gonna die wait wait there i'm coming Ugh, i made it love getting on top of a trig point Ta -da! we made it to the top of ben donick <laughs> scotland you have been good to me so humbled so blessed so grateful this is life this is what it means to live wild and free to drop right back into who we are the core of who we are stripped back of everything that society expects of us this this is living you know so grateful <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go I, now that i'm up here where's anna when i need her she'll, she'd help me down <laughs> um i'm gonna do some filming and then head down the mountain she will be coming down the mountain and she can't <laughs> even know it's round, but never mind. Um, look after yourselves, guys. Don't be afraid to dream big. Keep holding on. No matter where you're at, keep holding on. Keep speaking out, keep reaching out. Know that you're cared about, know that you're valued, know that you are enough. No matter what you're doing, how you're feeling, you are enough, you are loved. We're so glad that you are here. We're so glad that you're part of the wild community. I'm so glad that you're here and a part of the wild community. And that is it from Scotland. Stay wild! Woo! <laughs> Bye! Now I have to work out how to end this thing. Where's the end button? Oh, there it is. Okay. Bye! <laughs>